guys you can make these pillow covers for any of your existing pillows since i did not have any pillows i ordered them from amazon i'm gonna put the link in the description for you and the one that i got is 14 by 14 inches you need measuring tape you need a pair of scissors for the closure of the cover i'm gonna use these snap buttons i ordered these paisley printed bandanas from amazon you can use any existing bandanas that you have or you can also use any other pattern that you would like to mix and match for the covers for the back of the cover i'm gonna use this white sheet so as to cut out the portion but again guys it's up to you you can also go ahead with the mix and match pattern as well threads complementing the color of the bandanas or the cloth that you're gonna use so as to make these covers you need needles although i know that the pillow is 14 by 14 but just to make sure i'm gonna measure it one more time with my tape and for the stitches i'm gonna leave some gaps so in my case i'm gonna cut out the portion as 15.8 I'm gonna measure 15 by 8 on each side of the white cloth and then I'm gonna cut it with a pair of scissors. After that, I'm gonna make a rough sketch of how I want my pillow cover to be with the different patterns and the colors and everything. As per what I have planned, I'm gonna put these bandanas on the table and then I'm gonna start marking them so as to cut them piece by piece. You can also switch the colors of these bandanas or the cloths if you don't like it. Always keep around 1 or 1.5 inches more before you cut it because you will need some space so as to stitch them together. Hey guys, so this is actually after around 10 days. I finished stitching almost all these patterns. It's just that I kept one last piece so as to film it for you guys. So today I'm gonna show you how do I stitch all the patterns. Wherever there are multiple patterns or multiple clothes, you need to be extra careful and leave some extra unstitched cloth. Put them on the floor, put them on the table and then pin it up properly and then start stitching. So the stitch guys, it is very, very simple.
you just have to make sure that the movement of the needle is from upward to downward and then upward again through the fabric and you have to keep continuing the process This is the front side where I'm stitching and the back side, this is how it looks like. Just to make sure that the measurements are correct, I'm gonna place both the front and the back side of the cover on top of each other and then I'm gonna place the cushion so that if needed, I can add some more patterns. So in my case, I actually had to add two more patterns. Hey guys, as I told you, these are the extra patterns I had to use so that the cover is fitting the pillow properly. So make sure to check before you stitch the front part with that of the back. This is how the back looks like. I have just stitched the white fabric piece to the front basely printed piece. And I have also added the snap buttons for better closure and fitting and added an extra piece of the bandana to the front part such that it works as a flap. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. I really hope you would like to try this DIY pillow cover at home. Do let me know when you try this out and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I shall see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and take care.